What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 236 of the Monday Night Wars. I am Chad Talks, and joining me as always is Jamie Gaming. Hello. Um, it, it's been a long night. We're trying to, uh, you know, we're, this is, I think, episode nine that we have recorded tonight alone, Chad. No, it's not. Yes, it's uh, yeah, it almost, is. Seven in the, almost seven in the morning here. Yeah, we have uh, seven straight hours recording because who knows? You know, we're just trying to get a lot of backup so when I leave off to work in two weeks, uh, I can keep you guys uh, updated and entertained while I'm out exploring the world. And Chad is, um, I didn't want to say it. I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't say it, Chad. I couldn't tell him what you were going to be doing. I couldn't tell him. I couldn't be, I couldn't tell him it was going to be inappropriate. Someone's mother could be listening right now. <laughs> she is, and she's single. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, let's just book raw, just, Chad. Just, 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 just run your show. All right. So on today's pre-show, we have the T. Or we have TNA tryout matches, just to see how they'll do on Raw. And first off, we got Trent Acid and Rhino. And Trent Acid gets the win. He gets a fee. Did a fifty-five, Chad. Is Trent Acid ready for the main show? Ah, oh, Chad, I can't wait for Trent Acid to be here. And then a better match. Nick Dinsmore, Tony Mama Luke get a 49. Well, okay, so the end of the the young and up and coming stars of team uh, of TNA, they're 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 ready, Chad. They're ready. The TNA originals. TNA originals, Tony Mama Luke and Nick Dinsmore. Let's go. Straight. And they have great and they have great chemistry. Yeah, they do. Another pre show match, Mark Henry defeats. Steve Blackman in 945 with a death from above. And our final pre-show match, Ted, you booked this yourself with your two lots own. Of, lo- lots of lots of pre-show matches. Getting more people on the card, Chen. Carlito and Tyson. Duh. Yes. And Tyson duh, wins in 733 with a pinfall maneuver over Carlito. Oh, that dreaded pinfall maneuver. I hate to see it. We start off. With Eddie Guerrero 101 Heart, you know, Eddie's in the ring with his brand new shiny WWF title, man. He has fought his way. You know, he's really shown and proved himself. Um, and people are wondering why, you know, why the other uh, other big company let him go, you know? This is such a bona fide stud, a bona fide superstar. And the other company just said, you know what, we don't value you. And, uh, you know, he came to a company that, you know, really saw who he was as a superstar, as a wrestler, and, you know, really using him to his full potential. And Eddie Guerrero, you know, makes his way to the ring, and he says, Chad, he says, you know, he's finally done it all, you know, king of the ring. He's world heavyweight champion, and he's done it in such a little time. He says, what else is there to do here? You know, I've beaten the best. Come on, give me more. Give me someone new. And Owen Hart comes out. And he says, hey, brother, I didn't scratch and claw my way to the top just like you to lose and just walk away with my head down low. You know, at SummerSlam, we had one hell of a match, a last man standing. But it took four, not one, not two, not three, but four frog splashes to take me out. Eddie Guerrero, I'm not going to walk away like that. At Bad Blood in four weeks, I am cashing in my rematch clause. And oh, and Eddie, I'm not gonna let you walk out with that belt. You know, I'm gonna do. I, I'm a heart. Damn it, I'm a f- bleeping heart. I didn't get beat up by Stu Hart in the dungeon for 16 hours a day to let some weasel walk in and come in here and get gold. You beat me. With your signature move. And at, at at bad blood, I'm gonna beat you with mine. And that's the only way that's gonna that the bell's gonna ring. Because at bad blood, it's me versus you in an ultimate submission match. Sixty minutes, whoever gets the most tap outs wins, Eddie. I'm gonna put you in the sharpshooter. Not one, not two. Not three, but four times, Eddie Guerrero. Four times. And he walks out. So we get Eddie Guerrero, Owen Hart. The rematch clause is in. Submission match. 
Iron Man match or whatever you want to call it, the ultimate submission match. It's probably not going to be 60 minutes. I, it's probably 30, but still, regardless. Don't, it's, we get it again, Chad. Are you excited for that? Oh, hell yeah. That's going to be awesome. Hell yeah. We move on to, oh, yeah, backstage. Team TNA, they're not happy. <laughs> Ace Steel is ripping the locker room apart. He's still not happy after he got beaten and humiliated at SummerSlam last night when Jushin Lender Liger came in and won with the Liger Bomb, and he's unhappy. He's so unhappy. He says, go fucking do something about it. And he points at Tyson, or Joey Matthews and Sultan. And they got a match tonight against Liger and Ultimo Dragon. And then he's 76, Jushin Liger and Ultimo. Get the win over Sultan and Joey Matthews, actually, Chad. Oh. Um... Uh, Sultan and Matthews have great chemistry. So this a oh, 76, man. Man, I'm getting 76s out of Joey Matthew matches. I love it, bro. I love it here. This is great. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. Um, but after the match, A-Steel comes out with a uh, with a, a steel chair, Chad. A-Steel, get it? Oh, and, ah, 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 and just ah. <laughs> beats, ah. the, beats the ever-living hell out of him and he gets a mic and he gets in his face and he grabs him by the little horns he says Jushin Liger I don't know who the, I don't know who you are and I don't know if you know who I am but I, at, at, at Bad Blood blood in the pay-per-view title isn't going to be the only thing it's going to be blood because you're going to be your blood's going to be all over the mat and what are you and people are going to say you can't make a mess guy bleed well I guess I'm just going to have to fucking rip it off your head to show it and throws him down a steel using f bombs man he's not happy chad i pardon my language tonight but a steel is he's i can't control him i only book it he's only book it mad as hell he's He's mad mad as hell watch your mouth chad come on (laughs) pay-per-view We move on to oh Billy Gunn, you know, you know last uh, last night he was unhappy. Not a, oh, I thought that said ninety. I was like, I was about to shit myself. He was unhappy with Road Dog just causing him another loss, and you know he goes in there and takes out Vampiro in eight fifteen when he beat him up so badly that the referee had to stop the match. Just fucking Billy Gunn, he's off one, and then Road Dog, you know, he's out there. He has no idea how to control. Uh, Billy Gunn anymore, and he comes out there and he doesn't. Road Dog isn't even allowed to say one thing because Billy Gunn just gives him a fucking famous or as soon as he steps up, like as soon as he stands up in the ring, just that's it. The ass man leaves Road Dog ass up, face down in the middle of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> we move on. Oh, Booker T having a celebration in the back we saw a couple minutes ago with team tna unhappy in the backstage area this time team wcw they're celebrating booker t once again beat triple h in the middle of the ring one two three and this time it's all in it, you know it's you know and booker t you know he's he says ron killings thank you but at the end of the day it's a team game you know ron killings is unhappy that he's not getting his you know clear you know, comeuppance, you know, a celebration, you know, he did it. He helped Booker T, but, you know, Booker T's doing it like, oh, oh, we all did it, you know, especially me, but we all did it. And to show my satisfaction, I'm going to give you guys a chance at my belt at the pay-per-view. So later tonight, I talk with Vince McMahon over the phone on the way here, and uh, we'll have a one-on-one, or a six-man elimination battle royal out of you six. And whoever wins that match... Will take on me, Booker T, at the pay per view. So there we go. Later tonight, we get the oh. team. Oh, team. Major Stash. Baby. Come on, let's go, Scott Stud. <laughs> oh, and Christian Cage, speaking of celebrating in the back, Christian Cage and Mark Henry. Christian Cage is laying by the pool, and Mark Henry is feeding him cherries, Chad. Champion, oh, no. Champions are relaxing, buddy. Champion yeah, champions is rel- relaxing. Relaxing. That's it. Oh, Sean Stavjak in the middle of the ring. He gets a big win uh, with uh, against Mystico. Got an eighty, Chad. You know, even in just oh, yeah. even in just warm up matches, uh, Sean Stavjak could pull out eighties. You know. Yeah. I mean, Mystico's a solid worker too. He is very solid, but Stavjak had an eighty nine in ring, so don't he's no slouch. No slouch. Oh, Stone Cold uh, is shown after. This is a flashback to last night. He is shown. 
packing his bags and leaving the arena. He, uh, you know, he, no one knows what's next for Stone Cold Steve Austin, Jim. I'm on my way to Dub C Dub. What? Dub C Dub? What? Oh, hell yeah. All right, next segment. Bradshaw is, is a promo vignette. The future is next week. Well, maybe a little, well, maybe a gimmick change for Bradshaw, Jim. Oh, man. We move on to that. Hey, 69. Nice. Chef's, chef's kiss on this match. And a decent match. Bitch, bitch, Bigelow gets the win over Norn Stud, Stash, Killings, and Big Boss Bitch. When, uh, you know, he eliminates everyone, and Scott Stud was the, the last one left. Gotta oh, love it. Man. Gotta love Gotta it. Love it. I can't wait to run that bag next week. Bigelow stud one on one. <laughs> Bigelow was head and shoulders above everyone else. Yeah, I mean Bigelow's is a great worker right now. He's over. I was looking at his popularity. He is over still. Yeah. We move on. Oh man, Jarrett taking out his frustrations after uh, uh, you know you know he lost to PJ Black last night and he takes out his frustrations on um, King Ayakea, former WCW protege. Prince Ayakea. He's now King Ayakea over here. Yeah. And then him and Paul White absolutely just make a mockery of poor <coughs> King Ayakea. Just fucking beat the hell out of him, you know. Just a lot of frustration here on WWF tonight. Of course. And we move on to our, th- I, if I can remember right, Chad, our main event of the night. In a rematch of last night, it is Kane and the Undertaker taking on the uh, the American Heartbreakers. Undertaker pins, uh, supposed to say Kurt Angle, not Shawn Michaels, um, with a choke slam. So they get another win. They defend their titles. And then after the match, um, Kurt Angle rolls out of the ring, Chad. He's hurt. He's very hurt. And Kane and Undertaker are looking to choke slam Shawn Michaels once again. And the people are chanting, Kurt, 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 Kurt's unconscious. They want someone to save the American heartbreaker, Shawn Michaels. And who comes out to do that, Chad? None other than Triple H. Uh, time to play the game. Make some noise! Degeneration <laughs> X's music hits, and it's Triple H, baby. He hits the ring, and Kane, and he hits Kane with a... The fucking he's I mean he doesn't hit the ring so fast he is kind of hurt if we're gonna use actual things but yeah he comes and makes his makes the save to his old friend his old partner Shawn Michaels but what does that mean for Kurt Angle right now Kurt Shawn Michaels is now a man in the middle here looks like he's left at the dance without a partner brother ah well Shawn Michaels is gonna have to make a decision it seems like is he gonna go with his new love or his old love I see. I see here, I see here, uh, one scary couple, one couple of degenerates, and one happy man in the middle that, mm. with nowhere to go. Ah, uh, the, the, the home wrecker, Kurt Angle. That's his new gimmick. Yeah. Uh, and then we have a post-show match of Taka defeating Tajiri. Or the other way around, Tajiri defeating Taka. Why was this here? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it doesn't affect ratings, so I just gave it to the fans for free, baby. <laughs> We hear, we hear you, Taka Michinoku and Tajiri. <laughs> uh, yeah, 85. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know. One more. It's what the main event did, you know. Like, it's, Hell yeah. Can't really say much more than that. Chad, how do you, no, feel, I, how do you feel about that? I mean, Triple H, I mean, what's going to happen? Think that's, I think that's – I was sitting there when I said, oh, so who's going to save Shawn Michaels? There was a minute where I was like, Oh, Triple H. I'm like, ah, it's not Triple H. So then I tried to, like, overcomplicate it. I was like, oh, which one of my fucking guys did he take? Farouk. <laughs> Wait, one of my guys? Uh, shit. Here comes Lex Luger. Uh. Yeah, I, I'm over here like, all right, who can you fucking take in? So, then it was Triple H, and I went, okay, there Chad, we go. DX versus... The, uh, only time I, the only time I hide my screen now is when I'm booking my show. So you would see me take one of your guys. You gotta think about. I know, but it. you gotta think about. I've been done. I've been done oh. dirty by you so, <laughs> for so long. That's episode two thirty six, the post pay per view show, which is I think always one of the hardest to book. I just, you never, you know. For me, it's one of the easier ones. I I like booking the go homes because you know what, you know what kind of rivalries you have. It's just uh, you know booking it post show like new new months like 
leading four weeks and you don't know i mean you could have new storylines coming up how do you start booking those this is how you it's start there's no wrong way of doing it because yeah, they're, I mean, they're new. there is there's always a hard no, uh, 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 you know what let's just end the recording guys thank you uh, uh, it's 7 a.m man it's uh fucking my brain's turning into poo poo